Hello guys, and this video is focused on people who are using actually the Phoenix 5 Plus from Garmin devices in for using in your training, your workout, or your hiking, any activity that you want. Uh, but you want to create your own plot from the data uh, that you actually store in your devices. For example, this is one of my this is one of my my workout session. And this is one hour of training, and this is my heartbeat uh, of the of this training. And here you see, for example, it's a hundred BPM and so on. It's actually one one hour of training. But the point is, if you wanna if you wanna analyze your your progress, you want to compare with your previous session. If you are actually do the same training probably you need to make the same plot one by one in the same page, right? Just to, to, to make the comparison if you are working in some kind of a specific training, right? Uh, but here is the issue. The issue is you cannot easily, I mean, Garmin uh, cannot allow to you to easily to make your own plot. If you wanna download this data, you come here and you press export original ones and this guy will be give you the zip file, okay? It, it zip it one, it, it, this number, and then you save it. And I, I actually download it, and I will place, uh, I will cancel here. And it's actually here, this file, and this this one. Uh, let's consider for now the rest of the, uh, the other files. Uh, but what happened? Okay, then you are expecting to see your numbers minutes by second by second, uh, probably. And then you press here in no plus plus, and this one, this file is is a uh, binary, right? Is it's not easy to 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 watch your actually value because it's binary, it's not txt. Uh, but then, and it, this is even in another format. We close this one, and this is a format that Garmin usually work in the, in the devices. Uh, it's FIT is a, I'm not sure exactly what the means is FIT, but it's not easy for, for us if you want to compare a training with a previous training. Then the solution, what is, what I did actually is this one. I create, uh, this, I created this uh, GitHub tutorial for to convert the FIT format of the file that is uh, from the Garmin, in this case from the Phoenix 5 Plus to the CSV values. What I mean CSV, the format is a comma separation values, right? Then this is this this script is for Windows um, because there is another version from, from Linux. Actually, I copied the version from Linux and modified and now is working perfectly for Windows. It's using Python. Okay, you can get back a little bit for, for explaining how I, how I do it. In the end, you will have something like that uh, yeah in the end you will have something like that very very clear data the time stamp the, if you and the, that is the important for you is the heart rate and the temperature well it doesn't care the temperature uh, but th this one this is the number that you are interested in right to to watch your your heartbeat uh, by seconds or the period of time to to make the plot and then you can add another column with a the previous workout and the previous and previous and so on, you create in the same plot different trainings. And but then we need to convert the FIT files to the, the CSV files uh, for Windows. And okay, and then uh, I just let me show you. I, I I actually create this one here, but I will I will delete it. Okay, it's not there for now. Let's consider the rest in this GitHub. This is my repository. Uh, this is the file that I, I actually create. It's a Python. It's a .py and .py for Python. And then you download this guy. This is easy to easy to download. Just click here and even yeah, th this is the code. You can see the code direct. You can just copy or 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 download. Okay, and let's get back here. Okay, the code is where is made in Python. Then you need to install Python probably, and just type here. I work. I'm working this version. I'm working with a Python 3.8, and okay. What else? And you need a, even a package and library. You need to download uh, the Python feed parser. It's a library 
that is here actually I am placing uh, I am describing in this tutorial and this one is here I'm not the author for this one this is the guy David Cooper and DT Cooper and this Python parser that he created somehow you need to download all of these files the important for us is a setup.py and how you download this one you download here click here and see and download zip and then I I will I won't do it because I did it and then you need to install but I will do it with you I will show you here I download all of these files are here double click yes a python parser master and here is the setup.py file is here it is one and you download but you didn't install and it's python but you need to work with python you need to link it with python how you do that okay just type here okay just copy this link your your path come here and you need to write in the cmd oh it's in another windows just let me another monitor okay then oh wait wait yes cd and press the same file the same the same pad go to the same folder it's not complicated and you are there you watching just press tear and you will see yeah this is the file that we're interested in and then just come back to my tutorial this is my tutorial actually this is my phoenix uh, garmin 5 plus okay here i am telling you after you download you play you you you, you put together the files and then just execute this command as this pi is for calling to python and this setup is a file that you will install there press here control v and press enter and it will install and actually this is a no distribution doesn't matter and he's removing that i i actually did that i have i i already installed it in this writing i mean i am reinstall it again there is no no problem and this is the only thing that you need to do in the cmd just close here, here close this one and that is installed then you just forget about this guy this this folder and get back to the garmin fit file that you actually downloaded from here right remember it's here then then get back to this guy and this is my this is my code in python that is here remember this one yeah is this is this guy i have here and you need to place together with a with a file the fit from garmin okay and then just click here because your 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 python i am assuming that is actually installed and you installed it, the the libraries that i am working that you need it. then click this guy okay this is the file is the same you get back is the same is is the, is the same script from here okay the same script we place here and then i will call it the folder again uh there is an okay when you run it i will let's will run and they will copy the same name okay whatever you want i actually modify the name because the original name is a uh, numbers and it's not so clear for, for this tutorial okay and just okay you see i am not doing any modification but you can do it you can do modify if you understand a little bit of python it's not complicated also it's a lot of tutorials just run run module this guy is extracting oh we actually created a file here see that csv garmin the time right now and we did fin when when the conversion is finished then we show you and we'll tell you actually yeah the conversion has been finished okay then you you don't need any more this one you can close it and whatever this one left there and just your file is actually here the extract you convert from the fit file to csv okay let's open it double click here and this is your value this is the heart rate that you are interested in well we are interested in, right and the temperature the temperature is very constant or sometimes is not big difference uh let's check 
the timestamp is here I actually start 8 a.m. 40 minutes 43 seconds and it will finish almost one hour okay let's get back to the, the headers and because my 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 workout was in the gym I didn't use the, the GPS but if you are using the GPS they will be your location are uh, will be here your latitude the longitude will be here the, the distance if you are making the hiking your distance will be here the also hiking altitude and so on I mean there is a lot of things the speed the important speed but for us it's just this one right and then this is actually the it's very easy right it's very easy to to, to extract okay let's just click here and make a make a plot if, if you want to create your own plot it's can insert here right simulate this the simple one and yeah this is your plot well actually it's, it's mine right and if you for example you have the previous on uh, no, another data you just insert a new column and different color and you will see you can create several trainings in the same plot if you want okay then just to just to remind what we did actually you are inserting here this is the example that i left you it is the, the same file the garmin fit okay you can download it and you can just run the the, the python script that i show you and in the end you have exactly the same the same the same graph of the same values that you are watching here and what i am doing this one is because i have another device uh, for my workout and then i want to compare the heart rate monitor value this is the end of the tutorial thank you so much for watching this video and see you the next time